Welcome to my best seven global. If you want to get better, you're in the right spot, even if it's just this much better. I'm Mark. I'm a professor. It is a confusing time. My idea today is to keep going along with my program. Today is March 12th. I, I'm a professor at Texas Tech. <coughs> We're extending spring break. We're moving all online. I already teach all online, so I, I have zero adjustments to do. But I have lots of programs with children and workers, and I need to avoid distractions. This program is a continuation of last week's program about using my win method, what's important now, to avoid distractions to achieve more. I know right now I need to avoid distractions so I can achieve more and use the win. So this program today is about three things. One, a quick review. Two, how to wake up and use the WIND method or be prepared to use it, and three in an example. Today. So, maybe so last week we said that to, to be more productive, depending on how much more productive you want to be, that's your choice. If I eliminate distractions, I can obviously achieve more, or I should be able to achieve more. And so the WIND method, my WIND method is, is what's important now. So ask yourself, what's important now? And we discussed last week, I don't believe that every second of the day has to be a battle to win. But there's a good section of the time that you do want to win, win the battle. So you want to figure out what's important now. So one, we talked about setting three to five goals. That was your homework. Set three to five goals. Then after you set them, doesn't matter the order. Didn't tell you what type of goals to set. Just set them. Had to be a year and a day out. And then I would look at that list, or it's a list, I look at that list, and then I decide which one's the most important. And then I need to be sure that that one is actually one that I value. So on a scale of 1 to 10, it probably should be a 10. And then that goal clarity, that goal becomes clear, goal clarity of what I want to do. And now I need to then figure out, well, what's important now? So I wake up today, and here's a goal that I have set that's, I set, you know, it could be I set it six months ago, so now it's six months and a day out, and what am I doing to actually achieve that goal, right? And so that the goal, I don't walk around thinking that goals are, that I don't walk around with action items that I'm acting like that they're goals, right? Action items are get up, brush your teeth, lift weights, right? Those, just, those are just action items, things that get done, right? And so... After I do that, that's a quick review, right? So set three to five goals. If you haven't done it, uh, the video will pop up somewhere here to go back and do it. Choose the mo most important one. You can have more than one, but let's just choose one. And then we're going to be sure that we value that goal on a, on a 10. It needs to be a value, or again, it's going to slide down. And so other programs discuss qualities of, of, of good goals. They need to be fun and challenging and again something that not achievable in two seconds right? that's just an action item it's too easy it's not a goal right? and then we want to figure out how to use the win method when we wake up all right so we wake up and we know from our other programs so the other technique i had a series on my daily i am so wake up i say i'm committed to my daily i am i take some breaths i breathe in you know slowly i hold slowly out and then I say my, what my I am is. I'm encouraging, enthusiastic. So I have a statement. It's not a goal. It's something about myself that is going to get me through ups and downs of the day, keep me going. Then I have a daily goal. Right? And that goal right, should be in line with this long-term, one-year, day-out goal. And it could actually be that. You could just write that down. And then what are the action items you're going to use to achieve it? So I do that. It's 90 seconds, right? I haven't, I haven't spent 10 hours. It's 90 seconds. <clears throat> and I go about my day. And so how do I go about my day? I have, the same, I have the same book or books as I use them up. And I write down, check, right? I, my daily I am, check. I did it. And then what, what are my, what's, what's the win today? What's, What's important now? What, what is important now? <clears throat> and right there, right, I've got the goal already with my daily I am. Now I'm going to 
write what's important now. And those things are simply action items. Those are simply things that I need to get done, right? And some of those things to get done to avoid distractions are what? Right? As we discussed it before, and we all know this, we've known it for 30 years. We might not be 30 years old, but we've known it for 30 years. Turn off the email if that's appropriate. Right? Maybe it's not. I'm a professor. It's pro probably not appropriate to turn it off all day. Turn off the things on your phone that buzz you. <clears throat> not appropriate to turn it off for my wife to call. That's for sure. Right? We have emergencies. Not good to turn it off for my mom. Right? There's certain things that have to stay. Right? But those are usually emergency things as opposed to every second things that are distracting things. So we have that list, and then I say to myself, self, <clears throat> what do I need to write down right now besides get rid of these distractions? Right, those are acts, get boom, 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 get those done. And here are things I need to get done right now. So if I'm writing a paper, it could be what's important now, clearing all distractions. There's nothing more distracting to writing than other things, right? That's the only thing that makes people not write is they put other things in front of writing. Okay. Put those things away. I say for this amount of time, I'm going to do this writing. And here's, here's some things I need to get done. And boom, that's what I do, right? And then how long do you do that for? I don't know. There's research out there that says we should only work, what is it? It's uh, 43 43 minutes and then take 17 minutes off. That's a long time to take off, but if that's what works <laughs> and that's where you're most productive, then <clears throat> that's when you're most productive. I would find that hard to take off 17 minutes every hour, but there's got to be some amount of time that I give myself a break and I do something else, distracting things. I do fun, distracting things. Then I get back to my what's important now, right? What's important now? And I look at the list. And I get after that list. And again, it's, it's, it's about how much the message is, how much do you want to achieve? I have no idea. I, I, have, I have no idea. When I consult, some people want a, to achieve a ton. And some people want to achieve just a little, make the team, be the star of the team. Those are two very, very different what's important now lists. Just to make the team, to be the star of the team. Right? To make the team to be the star of the team, to be a professional athlete. All, all different amounts of win, right? So, so let's talk about then taking this to outside the house, right? So if I take this outside the house, a great example, it doesn't have to be golf. I'm going to use golf as an example. I was taught a long time ago by my advisors, at least one, probably two, that a note card is about all you get with an athlete, and I think that's I think that's true. A note card fits in a pocket. I don't have a pocket, but it fits in a pocket. It fits in a back pocket, a front pocket. You don't really get a full notebook to go take out into the real world, especially in sports. You got all this other stuff, and then it doesn't fit. Right? It doesn't it doesn't fit anywhere, right? I can't take everything with me. And so on this note card, here's here's a great example for golf. On this note card, that goal would be year in a day out, somebody sets a goal, would be to, oh, shoot a 75, consistently shoot, uh, you know, in, in 20 rounds, shoot half of them at 75 or lower. That's a, that's a great goal. It's clear. It's, it's measurable and all the things that we need to do with goals. But then when I get to golf, then when I, I get to golf, the what's important now has many, many layers. So layer one could, could be or is being prepared. All right, what's important now? All the clubs are set. All my bag is set. All my golf balls are set. Everything's set. Right? And that seems easy, but well, I can get, if I'm distracted with something else, if I'm messing around on my phone, if I'm doing other things, all of a sudden it's just like, oh, it's, it's, I got to go tee off. And then all of a sudden I don't have, I'm not really prepared. Right? So layers. What's important now? I got all my stuff. What's important now? Next layer. However, however you warm up. Whoever this golfer is. However this golfer warms up. He or she. How, how's that going to go? 
what's important now? Well, I'll tell you what, again, that list has got to be what's important now. Getting rid of distractions is, is what's important now. I know I want to shoot this type of score. I know my bag is set, my golf balls are set, my tees are set, my, my scorecard is set. Now I'm going to warm up. X, you know, X, Y, and Z, done. Now I go to the course. All right, so the next layer, probably, I don't know which what layer is bigger. The course is a pretty big layer. Right? And so I have that note card ready. Right? I've got to have that thing ready. And I get to the first tee box, and it says, what's important now? Right? And, you, and that answer is, depending on the hole, right? it could be hit the fairway, you know, be right here. Green and regulation. You know, this is golf course at Meadowbrook. One side starts off with a, a par three. What's important now? Hitting the green and regulation. That's what's important now. Choosing the right club. That's what's important now. You go out there. I've used this with many golfers, and they've reported back how successful it is. They have that note card right on their on in overseas called a trolley. Have it on their trolley. All right. Have it on their trolley. Because when you start missing greens, you start missing fairways, what's important now is to figure out a way to make that shot the best shot possible to have the lowest possible score on that hole. Nothing else matters. Does it matter if you look like a fool doing it? Because the scorecard, I don't have a scorecard on me, the scorecard doesn't care. The final results of a bulletin board doesn't care if you look stupid doing it. It's that you pulled out that card and you said, hmm, I'm under this tree. Maybe hitting backwards is the, is the best action item, right? Because what's important now is to figure out a way to make this shot the best shot so that that golf hole has the fewest possible strokes on the scorecard, right? I get to the green. This is by far the best part is when people get to the green that they pull out that note card. Now you got plenty of time. Now you other people are putting and you got all this time. It's to pull out that card and go, what's important now? To get the golf ball in the hole in the fewest strokes possible. That's, there's nothing else that's more important. Zero that's more important. Now again, so we, we talk about that in golf. I'm talking about that in golf. It is much more difficult to talk about that in basketball, right? It's not as hard to talk about that in tennis because I can have a wristband, I can have my racket with tape with what's important now, and I have just a couple notes on there, right? Again, a note card is similar to the size of, you know, a racket. It's definitely the size of a thing that, you know, football players wear, so I can do that. Right. In basketball, I don't think people wear sweatbands anymore, right? Maybe they do. I don't know. It didn't seem like it. Right. But there's ways to get your mind right of what's important now. And you have to have those things ready. Right. So summarize, even in this confusing time, if you happen to be watching it with this virus outbreak, and for me, college, you know, university closing, basically closing, uh, other schools making kids move out of the dorms, right? That's, that's pretty distracting. So what's important then is get your stuff and get home, right? There's, there's nothing else to do. You, that's, that's goal clarity, right? That's actually an action item, right? It's not a year from now. It's right now. And so today's program has been reviewed. Again, other program will pop up. That's the brilliance of YouTube. You can always pop up. You can always go back. Digital technology is always there. Three to five goals, year in a day out. Pick the most important one. As I talked about last week, it generally makes no difference which one it is. If I become successful in one area, the rest of it seems to fall in line. I need to value that goal. Then I need to put that thing into play. All right, so I put that thing into play by waking up, doing my daily I am, and that goal that I chose from a year and a day out, that value is a 10, could be my daily I am goal when we get down to step four. Then I move from my bathroom, I have it on my mirror. I get to, for me personally, I get to my dining room table. 
I have a notebook. In that notebook, I have, I'll have what I want a goal. As I discussed last week, I had a goal of being better at writing academic articles. All right, and then last for this program, I gave a golf example. It could be any example. Uh, I've used it in a zillion sport, not a zillion sports, many sports. You get a note card, you write down your goal, right? Right. you write down when, and then you could have it in small sections, right? Packing up, getting ready, warming up, right? And then on the back, most likely, if, if it's golf or if it's a sport like tennis, <coughs> you could have, you know, set one, set two, set three if it's tennis, break points. You could have different items of what's, what's important, and you can just review them. In sports that stop, you can review it. As always, I hope you enjoy the program. I, it makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. Right. Get your goal. Do your daily I am. Have that goal that you value on your daily I am. Move from your bathroom to your dining room table. Have your notebook ready. You could, you could, you could do this the night before. Some people would suggest that. I have my goal, things I, you know, I didn't achieve, and I flip the page and I rewrite them all. So I'm, I'm clear. Not goals. I people call them goals. I call them action items that you need to achieve to achieve your goal. Right, and then you get a note card, and go out and practice it somewhere. Right? Leave a comment below. I'm, I'm send an email. Ask about it. Share it with a friend. As always, share it with an enemy. Our world needs less hate. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll talk to you soon.